So basically, similar, I kind of grouped those two together so that you can you remember that you're on the contralateral side of the patient for the serratus and the ipsy for the rhomboid. So I'm going to do her, her right rhomboid. And again, this one is the supination against resistance. So that's kind of just how you remember this one, supination against resistance. And it's your own resistance. So you're basically, um, the contraction phase is just having the patient supporting their hand, and they're going to just raise that on their own times 10 seconds. And then if you want a little help hooking the medial border, you can, hers pops out really nicely when she does this. So basically, I'm going to be scooping the medial border with one hand supinating while I'm adding, um, helping out with the other hand. Just my pressure is basically on the dorsum of my hand. This hand is just stabilizing. I'm not doing any kind of pinning or pushing with this hand. This is just to help me out. So I'm supinating this with this hand, my superior hand, and my inferior hand is just supporting that pressure. Are you pushing down with your left hand there? I'm or? helping supination. I'm basically just supinating. I mean so, with your left hand? Yeah, it's, it's pushing down into my okay. right hand. So it's not really doing much yeah. here. It's more pushing down into my right hand. I've got a note for, that Dr. Neary put his knee under her shoulder. If you can't, it, if you can't get the border very easily or to, if it's hurting them, if you're pushing too much and it's kind of giving them an anterior apprehension, stretch, you can support the shoulder with your knee. Yeah. Some tables will be a little bit more easy than others with that. 